fidgets, spins, bearings, it doesn't matter what you call them. It's no denying that fidget spinning use has grown exponentially in the past decade. There are about 2,314 new users every day. Most of them are under the age of 18. Our crew is looking at a high school in Montana where an estimated 60% of the school student body uses fidgets, and we're finding out why. My name is Mr. Hedinger, and I've been the principal here at Corvallis High School for about 25 years or so. You know, I've had problems with fidget spinners before, but like this year is the worst year that I've had problems with fidget spinners. Like, I mean, this year, just this week alone, I probably busted three kids that had about 25 fidget spinners. They were looked like they were trying to sell them and distribute them through the school. I've had to deal with lots of kids this year with fidget spinners. I mean, it's a total distraction for the kids. You know, they can't concentrate on their schoolwork because they're playing with their fidget spinners in class. You know, we get reports of them having fidget spinners in class. It's completely a huge problem this year, bigger than I've ever seen, but, you know, hopefully we continue to crack down on it, it'll, it'll go away. The fidget spinners are so addictive and so widely used in every single classroom. And the kids are doing it on the sly, too. They're putting their hands in their pockets and fidget spinning during even lectures, things like that. It's completely distracting and highly addicting. And these kids, not only are they not learning in class, but they're also taking this into their everyday lives. I'm walking in the, the back area, you know, where the dumpsters are, and they're playing with these things, and they act like, oh, we're just like, we're just talking. Fidget spinners. You know what? I, I just, I don't know what to do about it. It's become a big problem. I mean, they play with them in class, they um, get other people to use them. Next, we talked to the students and found out what they had to say about fidget spinners. It's been like two days since I've lost out my fidget. I miss it. People are like, oh no, you shouldn't be doing that, it's so bad for you, you get addicted to it. And I'm like, nah, I can live without it, like, obviously, but I don't know, it's, it's stupid. These kids think that, oh, you have to be all good and go by the rules. Like, you know, this is something that you can go past the rules, I'm guessing, so. Okay, so a lot of my friends use fidget spinners, but I don't because I think it's stupid. Fidget spinning, yeah, it's weird and unhealthy. Why do kids even think it's cool? I don't get it. You just spin. I don't get it. Well, what to say about fidget spinners, you know? They're just... I don't know, they're just so, they've gotten so popular, you know, everybody, everybody who's anybody has, does, you know, mess with fidget spinners, you know, fidgets, and uh, it's really getting on everybody's nerves, you know, everybody who's anybody's out at the parking lot, fidget, you know, fidget spinners all the time. Well, when you're playing with them, you know, you just feel, you feel, you know, free, you know, your mind's, your mind's empty. Yep. I... I personally think that this whole fidget spinner thing is ridiculous. It is an escape from reality. I think it is very therapeutic. I personally like it, you know. I mean, I've seen a few of my friends go crazy or whatever, but I mean, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. Like, you can't really OD on it. It's just... It's just life, you know? Do whatever you're gonna do, yo Lore. My opinion on the fidget spinners, honestly, is if you wanna do it, just do it. Just don't overdo it, because some people get really carried away and it becomes an addiction. I do it like three or four times a day. I think it's fun. I don't think I have a problem with it. But some people say I do. I don't know, fidget on, my dudes. Uh, fidget spinners are causing a huge um, negative impact on students in the schools these days because they're not focused on the lesson and then results them not knowing how to do the homework, which results in failing because they're busy spinning away their lives. I mean, people do it all the time. I mean, you see it in the hallways, you see it at lunch outside. 
I mean, I feel like I feel like sometimes it just it, it's, it's ruining the school. I mean, it takes it takes people's lives away. I mean, you just see them spinning, spinning, spinning. It's not it's not healthy, you know. I mean. I, I used to do it. I, it almost it almost consumed my life. I mean, it's, it's stopping it was the one of the hardest things I ever did. Of all the students that we have interviewed, two out of every five admitted that someone has offered Solder given them as fidget spinner. Yeah, a few weeks ago, I went hanging out with my friend. We were just chilling around, hanging about. When he got into his drawer, he pulled out this fidget spinner. That actually kind of surprised me. Then he asked if I wanted to try. I really didn't know what to say. Did you do it? We, we were just having fun. We didn't mean for nothing to happen. No, 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 I'm not here to, I'm not here to judge you. You did it? Thank you for your time. I've been offered a fidget spinner a few times. Actually, a lot of times. And it was by people who I thought were my friends, people who I thought I could trust. And I, I said I was fine, I didn't want one, and they laughed and made fun of me, and, you know, peer pressure just sucks. Okay, man, at that party the other day, there were so many fidget spinners. Do you remember all those fidget spinners? Like, I brought all those freaking fidget spinners. Yeah, you like, it was like, you had like a bag of 15, and you just started handing them out there. Man, I was spinning so much, I don't even remember most of that It was like a fidget spinning. frenzy. Man, it was so cool. I love fidgets. <laughs> Nobody's ever gonna get me off the fidgets. Yeah. Yeah, fidget spinners are actually so easy to get, and everybody is pretty chill about hooking you up. They don't even cost that much. Our crew spent two weeks at the high school studying the behavior of students who were and were not under the influence of fidget spinners. Those who were not using fidget spinners excelled academically. They were involved in sports clubs and many other activities outside of school. Those who were using fidget spinners showed lack of intelligence. Their attendance was poor and they constantly misbehaved in class and were disrespected towards their teachers. Thus proving the negative effects of fidget spinners. Despite the school's large number of fidget spinner users, Mr. Hedinger still wishes to educate not only his students but students across the U.S. of the dangers of fidget spinners. So I don't know if we'll ever, you know, make a hundred percent, you know, solution with this problem, but you know, hopefully all we can do is warn the kids, continue to deal with the situation, let them know, you know, how it affects their brain and how they function at school and, you know, how big of a health issue it is for them because it's going to completely wear out their fingers and them spinning it all the time, they're going to get continue to get addicted to it and they won't be able to break that, that addiction. So hopefully if we continue to, to educate them and let them know the, the difficulties and the problems with fidget spinners, then hopefully it will it'll go away. You just gotta say no to fidget spinners. It's not worth it to ruin your life for a few hours of entertainment and fun. Say no to peer pressure. Make the right choice. It can be hard. It can be embarrassing. But in the end, it's all worth it. If you or a friend are struggling with fidget spinner abuse, please call the Fidget Spinner Hotline. 1-800-FIDGET-SPINNER.